Hello YouTube, Tom. Um, today we'll be making uh, a login form for Android. This is Mac HD Tutorials here. And well, let's get right to it. First thing we'll have to do is make a database. So we can name this database uh, Android. Next thing we have to do is make a table for that database where all our users will be added. Let it load. There we go. Users, we have three columns. First one an ID. That's also going to be an auto increment. Fail. <laughs> uh, next one is a username. That's going to be uh, Varchar being I guess 30 characters password same thing save let's go to our table we're gonna insert a user to our table um, let's click on our table This guy, uh, guest, password one, two, three. Go to browse, make sure the user added, no errors. And there you go, we have it. These are called fields. If I say fields, this is what I mean. Okay, next thing we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to make is a PHP code that the Android Java code will uh, connect to so language PHP okay oh, sorry about that PHP first we're going to need the host name and that's local host because we're using XAMPP next thing we're going to need is the database name Database is called Android. Next thing is um, username. Sorry about that. Username equals root. We also need the password to that username. Password equals nothing. And last but not least, local host goes my SQL connect then you're gonna put the variable names host name sorry about that host name um username what the error is so the trigger trigger error my SQ error the user error basically echo the user's error that line is complete, pretty long line. <laughs> Next, QO. Next one. <laughs> God, type it fast. Uh, select DB. <laughs> database now. And in our database. And our connection. Connection is local host. Okay, this is where the Java comes in, and the SQL. We're going to be using username. I'm gonna put uh, in. Echo. I'm not, I can't just put username because we already have a variable called username. That's why. 
So username n equals post then you put username inside of there. You end it. You do the same thing for password. For password then it goes Selected that already, so select all from the table users where you <laughs> name. Right now, I'm naming the field. This is what you're going to do. You're going to do a username equals and do one, two, and then dot. The username equals the username that the person entered. And then you're going to do again and do two. Do one, two, and then dot the password. And then again, one, two. I mean, you do you do two and one, and you do two again to end the whole entire command. Next thing we're not we're gonna have to uh, execute that command. if and else okay so it's gonna be get the tables of the tables that have the, the same the same uh, username and password that we entered If zero brackets and echo no user was found. Else if there is a user with that information, echo user found. And I'm going to end the PHP file now. Save it to our local host. Zamp. And we're going to make a new folder called. It's just checking, see if the user exists or not, and we're done for today. Part two: uh, the Android code and the XML code. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to like this video if I helped, and please subscribe if you started this channel. Goodbye, guys.